Uh, this is what I was promised is going to be left out of me. It's going to be the video to remind me. This here, the story of the astronaut that fell from the space. And make no mistake, YouTube, YouTube made sure I would get this news served on a YouTube channel. So that I could see with my eyes. Just as a click to YouTube, to your channel. That's basically what you would get. Exactly this thing here. There you go, like this. This just goes to demonstrate how closely they evaluate and inspect it. Um, what my situation is going to be. I don't see one, but he was in uh, just recently in one of the conferences where he had three glasses of water in front of him three glasses of water and that happened just so maybe like i don't know maybe three days ago maybe something like this and that was what yeah as they did manage to bring me into the status of Somewhat, they anticipated it's either going to be coronary artery dissection that this will result. These are all the uh, what they anticipated will evolve from hypotension. This is what they managed to accomplish through the play with uh, lymph nodes, cancer issues, which they commenced when I was hijacked from repeatedly for no less than 13 years, if it really matters, from United States of America, where I became naturalized citizen in 2000, back to Slovenia. If it matters to you at all, uh, I am naturalized American citizen, and uh, SIA supplied Slovenia with all the tools necessary to engage in medical experimentation uh, I was used when brought into the cancer stage uh, hypotension was always present during MK ultra already beginning the 1995 beginning the 1995 I don't know what they did they accomplished hypotension in me almost simultaneously with my return to Slovenia uh, neighbor, Dr. Igor Kotar was the one, maybe not 95, maybe even 96, how about a year or something like this. Six months I gave you and the hypotension was on the table. Poisoned uh, with a surgical procedure, which procedures which took place in my left arm and in area, lymph nodes affected and started to develop wound on my left foot in the center of my left foot which would have to be used uh, to create blood clots cancer issues in the future something eventually impossible to defend yourself from on a long term also uh, led into the problems with the kidneys i think and eventually would culminate, if not in a brain seizure, um, 
suffering stroke issues. It would eventually result in resolve, I should say, as they anticipated, with either ventricular free wall rapture or spontaneous coronary artery dissection. They have uh, speculated on what exactly the case is going to be. So if I go back to these issues here, um, this is how I was promised I'm going to look like. And it's really, really interesting that they, um, yeah, you can't actually even see this picture here anymore, huh? You can't see it, but that's what you're going to look. That's what you're going to look. You know? That's what you're going to look in the end. Ha, ha, ha. So you can imagine that the people involved in this stuff uh, were really, really everything but pleasant. I have to be exact. It was a lot about the alien, aliens, alien, your alien, and so on. But, well, in particular, this is what you're going to look like. And as I stated, and so I know that it doesn't have to do with Slovenia alone. Americans did as promised. They placed me this on a YouTube desktop today so that I could see. The page, however, reloaded on its own. A YouTube page, front page, and this picture was gone. But I did remember, so I went right back. Yeah, a few minutes ago, this was on my desktop as uh, one of the videos recommendation that I should see. Robert Golop, yeah, this individual was involved since 1995 in the crime against me. And that was the sign. You see me with three glasses. That's basically it for you. This is when uh, you no longer can afford to drink absolutely anything other than water. Uh, but it gets insaner than that you're basically you're basically dead basically you know he didn't say that but um i'm going to be exact in this this is a schoolmate from bored power who wanted me dead at all costs bored power this is individual you know this is a schoolmate schoolmate from this individual you know the prime minister Golop is a schoolmate from this individual here who suffered also uh, heart problems had a surgery uh, and this individual was sworn uh, I will be destroyed through the heart issues but even more hateful than this individual here was his mentor and Vladimir Putin with his Serbs from Belgrade. Uh, this Serbs from Belgrade, Russians and Milan Kuchan did a little bit different. They wanted this to look a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, Here is a psychiatrist, Peter Kopp. So I'm going to show you what political bestiality looks like so that you're going to have an idea what basically that is like. You're going to see what kind of beasts these are. You're going to see about this beast here. Now this is the mad daddy of the beast. This is a king of the beast psychiatry, this one here. This is a killer like no other you have ever seen. This is a hard assassin, killer for hire. Vicious individual. I think more vicious than any individual that you have ever heard known for as a psychiatrist, individual who held psychiatric uh, license. This individual right here. This individual right here involved in MK Ultra which lasted for no less than 26 years, 
of this 26 years, I asked about, about three to four years. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm being a little bit generous here. I estimate about 25% of the time I was drugged up walking in the sleep. 25% of what I'm going to say of 26 years, and then go ahead and figure out how much time that is. I was drugged up. They had me drugged up on MK Ultra. It was nothing other than beating, beatings based on forced unemployment, and that's how they got the result. So this is the degree of the violence I'm talking about in this case. This individual involved not only more than 1,000 items being destroyed to me, everything, absolutely every item destroyed, vandalized, delivered, be destroyed before delivery is even, uh, but this individual managed to introduce in this butchery for which MK Ultra was used for, uh, probably close to, I would say, maybe even 1,000 individuals, which would be disposable at any time to get into the physical conflict with me, into the physical fight. And this was a scenario of Vladimir Putin and Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan bragged me uh, proudly that this is actually his own personal scenario, his own drama that he designed this, that this is, this is the genius in his head. It grew from his head. It's all his idea. And really, folks, when I would be walking down the street, the only thing I would be meeting would be this Silagia here that you see, this Belgrade boy sending me my way, people whom he had me bully during MK Ultra torture. Uh, I should say during butcheries for which MK Ultra was used. I would not equal butchery in MK Ultra because every case is different. But in my case, there was nothing other than butchery. And to get the butcheries done, they use the procedure known as MK Ultra. Uh, and so this individual here involved God knows how many people uh, who also demanded for me to confront them when they appear in the picture. You know, they demanded to identify, identify the buildings and identify the people. Uh, between the buildings and the people, it was also the violence. It was also, what you're going to do? What you're going to do? And it was this guy. This guy was the one who was... Do you think you can take this guy down? Do you think he's better than you? Do you think? Do you think we will see? We will see. Do you think? You know, this is this is the Silagia. This is a Veliki Silagia from Lu from Novo Mesto. He is not too far. A psychiatrist involved in genocide since 1995. This individual here. What is inside of the man, inside of his brain, is nothing but evil. This is the most diabolic satanic person that I ever known in my life. This is an individual who lived to cause me nothing other than pain, harm. And he was hired by the British. He was hired by the London. Next to police investigators from Novo Mesto who signed the contracts with the British, this was the individual who led the group. This was the individual for whom this individual here Robert Golop is now Slovenian Prime Minister. Milan Kuchan stated me like this. He said, do you know this guy, Milan Kuchan, to me, under MK Ultra? did not repeat this once, but he promised me this in 1998, three years after MK Ultra started. This was in the age of who shook in anger and told me if I if I know how they're gonna get the proof about me being a schizophrenic 
three years into MK Ultra butchery, this individual told me if I know how they're going to get the proof about me being a schizophrenic during MK Ultra butchery. And I said, no, because I'm not, because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, even what, what are you talking about? So brought from United States of America under the presidency of the Bill Clinton. And let me tell you, including the Kennedy, uh, excuse me, uh, including the, uh, what was his name? I don't know, the president before Bill Clinton. George Bush, Barack Obama, Joe Biden did nothing better than I wouldn't even go into Donald Trump because Donald Trump maybe was the worst. This, this is the worst, the worst individual in the history of the United States of America. Uh, they just continued whatever Bill Clinton started. Yeah, this is just a sadistic butchery of the astronaut alien. Uh, this individual stated me that he already has a proof about my being a paranoid schizophrenic in 98. And I was, wow, because these people did throw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. But 20 years later, since 1995, when they brought me inside of the psychiatric hospital and had psychiatrists participating, it was all about the terror next to the butcheries. But this guy claimed he already had a proof about my being a paranoid schizophrenic in 1998. And I said, how? How is that? Me and Vladimir already know that, that you are a paranoid schizophrenic. We already have a proof. And you know what your proof is going to be? I said, no, I had no fucking idea what the proof is going to be. They said, it's going to be your death. It's going to be your death. Your death. And in 1998, not, but in maybe 10 years later, they did demonstrate with me issues behind a raptured heart. They did present me with the issue, the age, presenting me with the age issues and stuff like this. It was like a regular, because they all, everything was based on you will not prove. You can prove. There's nothing you can prove. You will not prove. Yeah. A tear develops on the inside of a coronary artery. A this is a coronary artery issue. As I stated, they weren't sure what exactly is going to happen, which one of this is going to be. They really were not sure about it. On the left side, I have a problem with the heart. On the left side, I had a problem with the heart uh, already. They developed this problem already way back. Probably they, they developed this problem already like in, two, since like 2008, I wouldn't even sleep anymore on the left side, you know? And once I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013, I basically slept with a cardiovascular, with a cardio arrest, basically, with a stroke, semi-stroke, uh, stroke. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't turn and sleep on the left side due to pain in my heart. You know, is that like a bad fucking symptom enough that you can only sleep on the, on the right side? I think that's bad. Uh, and this individual went on to present me as a heart rapture would be your way out of this. It's going to be the ultimate proof about you being a schizophrenic. And then he continued to explain 
what basically this guy did for him. He did not explain. He didn't explain anything. He didn't have to explain anything. This is the guy who did. It was a mystery to me. What the fuck? How? This, this, and that. And yes, I figured out that the words of Milan Kucher make sense. Uh, whenever I was confronted physically, and I was confronted by return from, from Poland on several occasions physically, it was always a scenario which dictated next to the Hollywood heroes such as the son Baena from Schwarzenegger and so on, Sylvester Stallone alone, uh, Johnson, um, The Rock, all these Hollywood big stars. And how are you going to look like? How are you going to look like uh, Prince Harry, Prince William? Uh, skinny, good looking, skinny, cardiovascular, uh, muscle training, and this and that. Oh, look how fucking good I look, this and that. They involved about a million articles in it, through which I should see myself exercising, exercising, uh, and building muscles. This was the ultimate jack, because this one here involved on the street real threats and even attacks, even physical attacks, such as was the one I audio recorded. Always dictating after attack, continuation, even more toxic attacks, they rehearsed during MK Ultra, but they wouldn't stop. It's when you stop exercising, is what investigator who met me at the police station is when I send your way this guy and that guy and so on and so forth and they meet you and whip you. No, 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 no. We don't touch you. We don't touch you. We wait for you to stop exercise. And then we come and we get, I just get one. The one that you, you could easily beat and that's the one is going to beat you up. <laughs> This here, this 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 mastermind, this this Satan here that you see, this is this is this is the one who was going to give a proof of me being a schizophrenic to Milan Kuchan in form of raptured heart. This one here wanted to eat my heart. This this motherfucker here. This is this this Satan, this Lucifer here. You see this here, this guy. This is the one. This one brainwashed with this issue for no less than twenty six years. This Satan was a psychiatrist who became my psychiatrist in the city of the Novo Mesto. After the Belgradian Zoran Muja released me, involved the criminal involved through, through Milan Kuchan since 1995 released me from psychiatric hospital. Yeah, you want to see what the animals look like? Look at that motherfucker good. I'm going to explain to you the rapture heart issue, how it happens. How Milan Kuchan wanted to get the proof about my being schizophrenic. But it gets much worse than this. Because I went to physicians in Marie's Gersh, Marie Curie's Gersh, in Gersh Hospital. They wouldn't want to know anything about it. I went to another physician over there to visit him, talk to him about it. Didn't want to know nothing about it. He was involved since 95, this Pollock. So were the physicians in the hospital of Marie Curie in Zgersh. Same shit in General Hospital Novo Mesto. Physicians who pop up in my face threatened with immediate hospitalizations if I would even approach anywhere to the hospital, request medical examination. The individual who met me and who examined me the last time inside of the hospital this individual was the one who talked to me. Oh, how is it going to get when you're going to get pain in the back? How is it going to get when you're going to get this discomfort typical for, uh, what is it?
I don't know how they say this is uh, heart arthrosis or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, but it gets worse than this. The thing is that, the thing is that, oh, they instructed on how to survive, how to stay alive, how to keep, how to half what they claim is necessary dialysis of the kidneys that you have to move how much you have to move to stay alive literally like this while refusing the assistance of the hospitals they insist that you have to go to your personal physician but all the personal physicians in the city of the novel master that were involved in it insisted they will inquire about my being schizophrenic They were inquired from the psychiatric hospital hospitalization. So how do you go to the personal physician when you are no schizophrenic, when you're butchered, you were butchered for 30 years, but you are told that if you're going to come close anywhere to the hospital, especially to the personal physician, that he will inquire from the psychiatric hospital to have you hospitalized that you are schizophrenic and so on. Tell me, how do you go? What do you do in the world like this? Because this is in this world, I survived six and a half years without any kind of medication, any kind of treatment. The only thing the police assisted me with when they hijacked me from Poland. That's what, you do. That's what happens, folks, when you go to Poland to file for political asylum or you go to Czech Republic or Slovakia or wherever you go. The only thing they did is they poisoned more. They opened wounds that already heal, like on a left foot, for instance. That's the only assistance I got, and they destroyed whatever I bought in Poland and returned me right back and caused more harm. You know, they destroyed the car, break everything absolutely I had. Now oh, this is this is a real story. This is a real this is Slovenia. Slovenia, a little country next to Italy, a little country next to Austria, a little country next to Hungary. A little country north of Croatia. So what do you do in a situation like this? I tell you what you do. You continue to work and gather more and more and more proofs. And with God's will, you somehow survive. You keep alive, is what I'm trying to say. And you look inside of the just as instructed, the same thing, uh, carrying with me my belongings, if not, they will be destroyed, they will be raptured, vandalized completely, um, something they already have done during MK Ultra when they would put me the belt around my waist, even put the weights on one, and have me march all day long with the idea to also develop problem with as many problems as possible in the body, lymph nodes, blood clots, dots, and so on. This was a butchery. This was no MK Ultra. They talk about this is the highest profile of MK Ultra ever. This is a butchery. This will be known, this case will be known as a butchery, as a human butchery. You're gonna open a new field in a field of medical fields, in a medical field, and you're going to refer to one as a human butchery, walking dead, known as a human butchery, walking dead. You understand? That's what I'm telling you, psychiatrists. That's what I'm telling you, physicians. You're going to open a new one next to MKUltra. You're going to be specific. 
you're going to open, you're going to write down human butchery under MK Ultra. All the hospitals throughout the United States of America, not only Slovenia, were involved in this. Cardiovascular departments, neurology departments, surgical departments. The same thing was in Britain. They claim it's out there to help me out. Instead, they were breaking the countries apart, setting people, sentenced people to death, physicians alone. I'm making sure that to whatever physician I would go, I would be, or I should say, would remain a walking dead. A walking dead. Butchery. No fucking MK Ultra. Butchery. Butchery. Like you go to the butcher, to the store. It's a butcher that cuts the fish for you, that cuts the meat for you. It's a butchery. It's a butchery. And butchers look like this man here that you see. This is a butcher. This is a real butcher. This psychopath, this maniac is a butcher on the open. He was going to get the proof about my being schizophrenic for this man right here. And for his apprentice, as I stated. Right here. The two police officers involved in MKUltra from Maribor also left me a sign that if I don't go to a physician now, I will be dead. Both of them involved in MKUltra, both of these police officers involved in MKUltra found on the April 9, 2023, two days ago, a man who just fell on the ground, and that's how they told me. That's basically how they told me it's going to be with me. They gotta be walking, and the only thing that's gonna happen is gonna fall on the ground. And they so they found him and they saved him. There was no more uh, heartbeat nor breathing, and they started to revive one till rescuers appeared. This was another one. And this here, this is maybe the worst one of them all. Now oh, there is a lady right there on the road. We're not going to record that. Yeah, but I'm trying to say. This is where I took the mother. It's also audio recorded. Mother alerted me about this sign. It's this sign here. In uh, beginning the 2011, the neighbors, Igor Kotar, doctor, physician, had Andre Ull, another neighbor next to him, neighbor right across my street, Dana Kulens, drive me back and forth here also with the police officers. Exactly on this road that you see, exactly with the sign that you see right there. That's a mobile sign. They promised me what I stated to you. They promised me I'm going to suffer everything that is in the book of the worst disasters that can happen to a human being, including the most severe cardiovascular problems as well heart problems. The signs right there, you see, it says 50. 
That's a sign you can pick up and you can transport and you can put one anywhere. This sign reappeared on this road on many other occasions since 2011. This is the sign they promised me. When you see this sign now, it didn't start like this, but the way it started was if I see a sign 50. And in 2011, I was not even 40 years old. I was close to 40. And already with the cardiovascular problems of a patients with the cardiovascular problems developed. That's what they stated me. For those who do not work, don't have the right to eat, what we do, we award the workers here in this country. It was everything about favoring workers, uh, women's rights, uh, minorities' rights. Basically, everything was based on beatings that started in the year 1995. Everything was based on beatings in front of the partisan memorials um, with but I didn't say this with but you will say this and then at Shmarieta uh, my openly due to beatings due to nothing other than beatings that went on beginning the 1995 as it all started uh, straight into the face started to bully people uh, question people on the Nazism and so on that's what Milan Kuchan engineered like this well, broken spine check mark yes Lymphoma cancer, check mark, yes. Problem with the kidneys, check mark, yes. Never drink alcohol, never smoke, sportsman, doesn't fucking matter, yes. Cardiovascular problem, heart failure problems, uh, potential heart valve change, yes. That's, they told me, that's how you're going to be. That's how you're going to be rated. This is how it's going to be with you. 2011. The story changed then. But not before, or I should say, a year later, with a Prince Charles from Great Britain now, that's about to become a British king, questioning me over and over. Not only in Slovenia, but also in Britain, in Great Britain, in greater than Great Britain. If the guy told me about the sign, and he would continue to mock me about the sign, about the 50, slow, slow, slow. When you see the sign here, Bobby, Slow, slow, slow. Now go ahead and imagine freaks, maniacs, psychopaths, lunatics acting insane in front of you and explaining it, this thing to your face. I'm talking like this because I want you to get an impression about the world of MK Ultra I endured. There are different MK Ultra sessions, different MK Ultra stories. But my story, I'm going to demand from psychiatrists, I'm going to demand from the medical field professionals, physicians, you're going to write down butchery under MK Ultra, butchery under MK Ultra. You're going to write down butchery because butchery is bigger than MK Ultra. Butchery with use of MK Ultra. That's how you're going to do it. You're going to write down butchery. With assistance, with the use of MK Ultra, that's how you're gonna write down. Walking dead. You understand?
I'm talking to you at the United Nations that you deliberately refused to assist me for no less than 30 years. You were involved in this crime too. You're going to write this down. You're going to classify this as the most severe crime against humanity possible. More severe than the one you see today in Ukraine is taken against the people, whom, by the way, many of you favored. Or I should say also favored. Zelensky asked the United Nations where the evil is coming from, why the world became so evil. But I can tell you that whatever country I was brought in, Slovenian police came along. And they were the one, they tutored, they were the one, they teached whatever country I was brought. London ensured they would get, they would comply with Slovenia, with a Putin. Slovenian police, local investigators here from Novome. That hurts even more, you know, because they're not from some other part of Slovenia, but they're right here, like my maybe five years older than myself, 10 years older than myself, people right here from my area. They demonstrated everybody how slow. You see this here? This was the sign to me to slow down, to no longer do the exercise, but even more importantly, so as I accented today, I have the right folks. Yes, because I leave bottles of urine I leave them deliberately inside so the Slovenian police who checks in and measure, see exactly what's going on with a rapture. They can see exactly what's going on with the damage with my body. See, they told me nothing until you develop damage. Also, the last one is going to be cardiovascular. And you can go to physician. Then you can request for medical assistance, basically when it becomes like totally, totally evident. And now this sign, ladies and gentlemen, gives me the right to go to a physician and no longer be lied in the face. Obviously, there is nothing anymore they can do to me, even if they throw me inside of a psychiatric hospital. They no longer can hide what I stated. That's why this sign 50 popped up here. As much as I felt for King Charles, for his sausage fingers, for his always expressed concern for his health issues, I, I don't know how he related to the stuff like this, why such an evil... Why such a mental illness? There's just such a degree of mental illness present. Hatred in this individual. For this sign, they also told me, obviously at 40, they didn't know how to explain. It was like, you're worse than 50. You would say that you're already 50, this and that. But this, this, this kind of issues, very few workers in any field uh, suffer from. Right? Am I, am I correct? With so many problems that Slovenian government, Slovenian parliament involved in this crime against me, genocide, genocide against me since 1995. Genocide, murder, extermination. Now it matters. Now the fuck it matters to me to accent. Now. Now it matters to me. Now you don't have the proof that you no longer are doing this stuff. But I have the proof that you are doing this stuff. You murder. You murder people. You murder people right out on a play on a plane day side. Just like this you do it. Just like this you do it. Just like this, you do it.
you're going to get the proof about the schizophrenic. You're going to get the proof about the schizophrenic. At this stage, at this time, the neighbors here in the village also argued whether I should get at least 250 euros. At least 150 euros, meaning that forced unemployment was more than real. Forced unemployment was supported with the claims that if you come to the unemployment state unemployment office, you're going to be entered into evidence as a job searcher. You're going to be reported to psychiatric hospital, which I already have audio recorded, the Serbian, who was also involved in this stuff, awaited me. So now, let me demonstrate to you what the schizophrenic looks like. Now it's going to be difficult for you to prove anything might be in wrong about my being wrong. Here is what I think police uh, low blood pressure. A black sock uh, and the wallet just... Yes, they already they told me on the MPR trial that my entire family, due to degree of crime, will disappear. Death certificates or real deaths will be issued. Probably will you will start to give the real death, others will disappear to the death certificates. Delivered yesterday, yes, I know. This was the right video here. Here is what I think police did to me. Here is what Slovenian government, Slovenian states have done to me. This is what I think was developed in accordance with not only Slovenian government, but I'm afraid by involving other governments through London this year. It's called hypotension, and that kind of a stuff was expanded to the left ventricular. This is what neighbor Dr. Igor Kotra was playing with. This was his with the hypotension, I am fighting yes. since 2017 completely on my own. That's about six they years. They surgically and a half damaged now. lymph nodes and play with this kind of stuff. That's a uh, low blood pressure, like this. Low blood pressure can have causes that are not underlying disease. Example, family history, low blood pressure, low blood pressure, fainting dizziness because and the they brain doesn't receive enough blood. And this is blood. a problem. The yeah, last time, and, uh, and I told them I don't have problem. low blood pressure. This That's is not normal. Probably the sound is coming from um, Rising slowly from a sitting uh, lying position may help symptoms avoiding alcohol, drinking plenty of water, and eating small, low carbohydrate meals along the fruits and vegetables may also help. Well, you know, the thing about it is that right now, 
I learned why did I never bothered even by folding the sleeping bags here. Uh, no, because I'm in pain and it's related to the cardiovascular issues, you know, to the heart, left side of the heart. So I think that a police next to this stuff that have affected eventually uh, my brain area, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure that this is what it is. See a doctor immediately if you faint, break out cold sweats, breathe rapidly and shallowly, notice blood in your stool, uh, feel dizzy or lightheaded, experience fatigue, have trouble concentrating, have trouble concentrating. That issue is restricted to a sleeping that goes to four to five hours a day. For what a physician who examined me and who disregarded low blood pressure, I couldn't hide that. Disregarded pain in the left side of the chest. Disregarded symptoms which clearly indicate, there is many other indicates, uh, issues that indicate, that are not mentioned here, that I mentioned on a medical examination, which video I already have done it. Simply have... Uh, attributed those to my being a schizophrenic, to my being a paranoid, paranoid schizophrenic who see all kinds of shit and cannot sleep, basically. Obviously that uh, he knows more than psychiatrists that there are some kind of fears, that there is something. There is, however, a little hole in between because there was no psychiatrist ever who gave a second opinion or would give a reason for my being a paranoid schizophrenic, labeled as paranoid schizophrenic, meaning that fears could be justified or could be not justified, yes? But the psychiatry doesn't bother with that kind of issue. And that's a hole I'm exposing today, right? If you say for somebody that has a fear, that has a paranoia, whatever it is, fears can be justified or they might not be justified. If the individual have proofs about MK Ultra, I don't understand what kind of a psychiatrist you call yourself psychiatrist, you have a psychiatric license. What the fuck are you? Come on, man. You're just a killer, you're just a butcher. You're just an employee from Ro Barbara Cave. You know Ro Barbara Cave? Ro Barbara Cave in Slovenia is a famous location. It's a very, very, very beautiful location in Slovenia. If you ever visit Slovenia and you have not visited the most beautiful location in Slovenia, it's known as Ro Barbara, Cave Barbara. You missed an absolutely everything. Why to see beautiful smiles? Why to see beautiful landscape if not visiting Ro Barbara? At times I did feel dizzy and lightheaded, and at times that's why it's. Yeah, you would too if you sleep four hours a day. But extra mites. Had a very see how much I did urinate today, opening and closing the doors from the room. How they do it? I give nobody. That's how far I. Six and okay. I think I figure out myself what makes me feel not good but alive. If you drink, if you drink, there's a two liters of water in there. If you drink. five or more liters of water a day. 
and you see this inside of your urine in the morning when you wake up, when you go, I did already during the walk in the evening, it should be completely white urine. And there is two liters of urine right there. You think that this is normal? I would drink that much water, I wouldn't be alive. There is at least, this is a four liters of So, liters of water we have here. Two liters of water, look, you see. No, that's not the normal color. Well, this is the color I already have for about at least four months. It doesn't get any better. And so the police now came to terms that, in fact, it's time for me to go slow, to slow down. And I also have, imagine this, I have the right now to visit a doctor, a physician, to eventually get a medical examination. There is somebody else also that is, yeah, this urine is not, doesn't look too good. Yes, I know. Uh, there is... There is another one also who goes slow these days too. I got another sign about slow, about slow. There is another sign about the slow. Do you see it written slow right there? It appears to me that father never changed his shirt for I don't know how many days. Do you see it? Do you see it where it says slow right there? I'm not fucking around with you. This is what MK Ultra looks like. You like it? You want to call this MK Ultra? Huh? You want to call it MK Ultra? Is it MK Ultra or is it butchery? What is it now? You got to make up your mind, because I want to fucking know you, smart ass, doctors, physicians, you're, you're doctors, you're, you're physicians, you know about all this stuff, with so many of you involved in it and have done absolutely nothing different from clowns inside of the Hollywood. And wh what is it exactly that makes you a doctor? I used to have a respect for doctors, physicians people who dedicated themselves to study, to advance quality of people's lives. I have no fucking respect for you, whoever you are, whatever you are. Slovenian police also told me, not from normal man stuff, that when something like this happens and I go to the doctor, if they will not examine me, they will go with me to get the stuff done. There was also guys like this. Some didn't like at all about what went on. So this is a proof about schizophrenia. If you wanted the proof about the schizophrenia, here is the proof about your schizophrenia. I don't know how much you like this proof about the schizophrenia. You might get fucked. You may end up in the jail for this. But I give it to you one. See this here? This one is what they're going to use probably to get the real proof 
and the rest are getting ready to disappear of the picture through other issues. That's how they organized. He managed to escape twice. They rehearsed this. But the third time, I don't think they're going to let him out. Have different plans. That's how they do it. You would be angry too. You would be angry too. If you would get to leave as long as I did. I'm just trying to get another shot of this slow shirt that he has. As you see, for many, many days already, to alert on my having the right now to go to physicians. And on how I have to slow down. On how I have to slow down. Yeah? There you go. See it? I want you to look like, I want you to understand what the schizophrenia, paranoia, paranoid schizophrenia looks like. I want you to get a proof about my being paranoid schizophrenic, but I, one did came a little bit ahead of the time. This stuff from my room was done actually in a such a way that when you close the door, when you close the door, you can give you as a professional locksmith for this. You need a lot of brute force to close one, that's one thing. Yeah, you know what? I got a solution for what you need. For what I need. You need 40 I'm pounds show you what it takes of strength to close the, the fucking down. door. 40 pounds. Uh, you need to pull 40 pounds to close the fucking door. Okay, to pull the handle down, you need about pressure of 4 kilos. To pull the hook down. This is four kilos right there. Okay. The door knob. Now, what it takes to <clears throat> get the door knob closed. What exactly is it takes? What exactly does it take to get the door knob closed? First of all, from this position like this, with the left hand, when you pull it strikes me directly into heart where they have already inflicted injury oh. did you hear what the fuck i said here did you pay attention the closing of the door was designed was designed in a such a way that with the left hand as i would as i would reach for the doorknob to close one i would need exactly about 40 pounds to close the fucking door 40 pounds it's about 17 kilos of pressure on a doorknob to close the fucking door. And with the right hand, turn the key so the door would stay in lock. And that's exactly the exercise also that was used during MK Ultra to intensify cardiovascular damage. Damage I previously have spoken to you about. For the course of 26 years they did this stuff. So I'm, now let me demonstrate you what it takes actually 
why this shit is so little. I am just gonna put the doorknob down. Uh, have keys inside here, outside already. And we're gonna close this. It came to about 12, 14, between 12 and 14 kilos here for you to, uh, and let me make sure because I don't think it's closed. No, it's not closed. Uh, that's what's interesting. This was done by the police, literally by the police. Locksmith, literally locksmith. Still is not closed. What exactly the fuck that means? But this here is the most fucked up part right now. Because why? Because you have to pull one down. Usually it would go like this. Um, I would pull one down and in. So you're talking about the four kilos down and you're talking about another 14 kilos to keep inside here with this hand. So that's a significant amount of force while locking it with the right hand. That's a significant amount of force and that is was used to actually continue to trigger the pain in the heart area. Now this is no bullshit, this is serious. Look, as soon as you open, it just jumps out. Now let's, let me demonstrate you what it takes to lock. Okay, we are at exactly 17 kilos. No, I'm not mo even moving my hand. More. 17 kilos of pressure out. You understand? This is what police did. This job here, this stuff, he's got a much deeper meaning. I will never forget the words of the police officer who stated me in front of me when he ordered somebody to do not fix this door and this and that. They have doors like this every time during every session of MK Ultra, And they make me close, open and close, open and close. This had a much deeper meaning, this shit here. Well, you know, when you when they create a wound on you, they, they agitate one enough so it opens up on a certain move. That is exactly what was used. This door was nothing but war inside of the house between me and my parents since 2006. They have modified the door so it, it would not close. And it was all kinds of back and forth. Uh, yelling, screaming about this fucking door that should have been replaced with another door. This is the way it was. When I had the money, it was no right to replace the door. When I didn't have the money, it was buy yourself a door. Uh, the one whom they made agreement under the pre <laughs> Now there is a lady right there on the road. Oh, how bitch instigate. We wanted to know is what the meaning of the sign was. As for the bridge, she started to instigate about totally other issues. No, she did not go across that bridge. So you can move nicely like this, it's right there, and she wants to know exactly about this sign, what this Slow. sign. She what really wanted to know is what the meaning of the sign was. As for the bridge, my mom wanted to know if I know what the meaning of this sign is. So yes, 
I do know what the meaning of this sign is. I do. I know exactly what the meaning of this sign is. I totally understand what the meaning of this sign is. I get it. I still, I have to say, I am shocked in respect to King Charles. I am shocked, I'm in shock, I'm, I'm in sort of disbelief. Since I opened my eyes beginning 2017, and uh, this memories started to flood me. Memories which I intentionally blocked because I was in a, such a bad world here in Slovenia. Uh, to survive, I had to believe in something even if it didn't exist, even if it was a source of evil alone. It's hard for me to still accept that there are people as evil as British royals.